it was it was relentless. At one time, it just didn't stop, and it, it had to be over 100 miles an hour, and it was just, that's when the roof blew. The, the roof couldn't take it, I guess. We had power here until about 4.30, which was better than most. Heard some loud noises. I was kind of going up and down the hall, checking on friends and uh, residents, and just saw water on the far wing, uh, water coming um, in, and I think it was running down the walls. Wind and oh yeah, and what and wind and rain at the same time. Yeah, beating up against the windows. We just mm -hmm. didn't know which way we were going to go. Yeah, it was pretty uh, scary. Um, we got evacuated uh, over to St. Francis and uh, spent the night there. We opened up our church, and people began arriving probably about seven o'clock or seven thirty in the evening. And uh, a few hours into it, we had a total of thirty-four people here who stayed during the night. We were able to provide them with uh, food and water and bathrooms and basically just a clean, dry place to stay. We also had blankets and sleeping bags so that they could sleep on our church pews. Still waiting for your, uh, your nephew to come so that yeah. you can be evacuated. It's a lot of elderly people that live here and uh, we helped them get out of the vehicles that transported them over uh, to the church. And they were very good. In fact, some of them stayed up all night long talking. But pews are for praying, not for sleeping. I can tell you that. I've been through a few storms. Not going to go through another one. Guarantee you that. Just too dangerous. I mean, this place is supposed to be a rock solid place for years. Been through a lot of storms. Nothing. Last night, boom.